in case of you are wondering where my New Day Elites were, yeah, did it by accident. I can't do that to my elites. Uh, let me take them with me. Yeah, still got my beard. I said I was going to shave it, right? Let me go do that real quick. Just like that. All shaved. The beard is gone. God. I look like a... Oh, I hate it. But I feel fresh, though. Wow. Wow. And all the redness is from the shaving and stuff. I'll oh, forget it. Whatever. But let's talk about Raw. <sighs> so apparently. Turn it around. I don't know. <sighs> it's like I want to talk about it, but I don't. What is up, guys? It's Dean here. Got done watching Raw. <laughs> the New Day is officially your longest reigning WWE tag team champions in history beating demolitions record where are my demolitions where are they I know I have one there, there's one but he doesn't really count the others do uh I am sorry crush that you guys are off the chart. I know it's not fair to you guys. <sighs> it's like I want to scream, shout, kick things, throw things, break things. But I'm going to keep my cool. I'm going to keep calm. I think it just freaking sucks that the New Day is your longest history tag team champions. How in the hell are they going to have New Day be the longest reigning tag team champions in history? When they don't even defend it time to time. All those times that they freaking had it, they did not even defend it. They defended it now because they had no choice. They had two matches in the beginning of Raw and on the end of Raw. They, had, they went up against four other guys. Cesaro and Sheamus. Nothing. The club. Nothing. And yet the club is supposed to be a dominating team. But no. WWE makes them look like shit. That's the problem with WWE. They take these good guys. Make them look like shit. Sheamus and Cesaro could have killed the New Day. The club could have killed the New Day. Now at the end of Raw. You had Team Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. You had Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Now those guys, damn sure guaranteed, could up the feet of the new day, but no. But no. Xavier Woods got the win, because everybody wants to mess each other up. Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho want to start arguing and shit. And look what they did. Like, good for them. Like, alright, good for the new day. Congrats to Kofi Kingston for finally, you know, doing something. Big E and Xavier Woods, but I just think it's fair to Demolition or to any other tag teams. 
I just don't. If you really think about it as a true wrestling fan, just think about it. I know there's a lot of other guys that definitely did actually write to me saying this is bull. And I, I just couldn't match. Well, that was that. I give up. This Raw was just everywhere. Second of all, now since the new day's out the way, I don't even want to talk about that right now. Wasn't there supposed to be a debut of Emma? Lena? Emma Lena? No. Even though last week that they said she was going to show up, apparently do something with the women's revolution or something with the women's division. And now they're saying, <sighs> Emelina, <sighs> premiering soon. <laughs> we might as well not put the bitch on TV then, that's all I'm saying. Because now there's no hope for her. It's done. You might as well stop showing that. Like, don't get me wrong, she's hot and beautiful. But, might as well not put her on TV no more. Now, the only funny part of Raw that I did like, and the segment was pretty good, Sami Zayn and Mick Foley. Sami Zayn wanted Braun Strowman so freaking bad. You could tell it in his face he was willing to do anything it takes to get Braun Strowman. And Sami Zayn said if he don't give me Braun Strowman, he's done with Raw. So he Mick Foley was gonna make a call to Daniel Bryan. And I thought they were gonna transfer Sami Zayn. Switch with SmackDown. And be on SmackDown. But no. Sami Zayn is out of the ring. McFoley's out in the rain. Apparently has paper in front of him. Well, not paper. It's like a book, catalog, whatever. The contract ready to go on SmackDown. And the person that they were going to draft from SmackDown to Raw, McFoley, you are a swerve king. He said SmackDown was willing to give up Eva Marie. Oh, my God. That got me in tears. I was going apeshit in the beginning. Till Mick Foley actually gave Sami Zayn Braun Strowman at Roadblock. <laughs> and the paper was blank. There was no contract. Good swerve, Mick Foley. Really good. <laughs> the rest of the show, I... Like, come on. Braun Strowman versus Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel destroyed. The, the Cruiserweights. Brian Kendrick and TJ Perkins again. Like, I'm not liking the whole Cruiserweights no more at all. You know, I'm just not digging it. You know, it's, that is sinking down. We all know it, it is. <laughs> That's pretty much raw right there. <laughs> the whole three hours. There's really nothing else special that happened. <laughs> what a shame. Now get ready for SmackDown. Uh, James Ellsworth versus AJ Styles for the Heavyweight Championship. And SmackDown, please make it better. Please make sense for us. Make me happy. <laughs> well, alright guys, that's it for today's Raw Talk. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Monday Night Raw. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.